Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 128. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and download the workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 126 to 130. Hey, this YouTuber had a great question. He says, default chart. I used to be able to change it easily in 2003 and I can't figure out how to do it in 2007. Hey, let's click over here. I have some notes. For those of you in 2003, you'll have to read this. The trick is after you create your custom chart, you right click the chart and choose chart type and then uh, follow these steps. It's uh, totally straightforward to set the default chart. Now they've changed it dramatically in uh, 2007 and the charting engine in 2007 is horrible in my opinion compared to earlier versions and the main reason is it takes too many clicks. You used to in the old chart wizard, uh, you could add things like chart titles and labels with a minimum number of clicks. Now, you know, they you have to do three different dialog boxes to change those. Nevertheless, there is one amazing thing they did add. You can have as many uh, templates as you want, and you could set any one of those templates as your default chart. Hey, let's look at this process in 2007 for default charts. There's actually two ways. Let's look at the first way. Insert, and there's charts. Remember, I always have my screens real small. This should look, you know, like that, right? Insert, and a little bit bigger here, but watch this. Here's the launcher. Click on that. There's templates, which we'll get to in a moment. You can click on any one of these and then any one of these and look there it is set as default but as you know some of the colors or schemes might not be just what you want but that's a quick and dirty way if you always use scatter you could and you always wanted like a, that one right there you set as default that's it it's that easy but if you want to add custom colors and whatnot then you have to create a template I'm gonna close this so that's way number one here's way number two I'm gonna highlight this and I want to make a column chart now. Alright, so I've highlighted this range and there's two keyboard shortcuts to create the default chart. I have mine as column. There's a keyboard shortcut that will insert the default chart as a new sheet and that's F11. Whoop, there it is. Whole new sheet and there's the default column. Let's go back here. Now there's a keyboard shortcut that's new to 2007 that'll put the default chart actually on top of the sheet and that's Alt F1. Now I'm going to point to the edge here and hold shift so I can click and drag in and change it proportionally. And here's how you can create a template in 2007 and save it. I'm going to click uh, right here. I don't want that. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to click on the columns and then I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut control one. That's great because that formats cells and it formats chart elements. And I'm going to say fill and say vary colors. It is annoying that they all come out the same color. Um, and then uh, I'm going to click and drag over here like this. Um, I'm going to go up to the layout and I'm going to say data labels and I'm going to say inside end. So there it is. And you could do any kind of formatting you want um, including labels and all that, but I just want to show you here, all we've done is two things, but I want those to be saved now because I use this type of chart all the time. So I'm going to go up to uh, design, and no way, there it is, save as template. It's a new feature. As long as I have the chart highlighted, it will save it with this new extension for template chart. Save as template. Oh, be careful. Make sure you know where that is. Actually, it's not totally necessary. I always like to know where I'm saving things. You can uh, click that drop down arrow and see that it's saving it in uh, the profiles, applications, templates, charts. So that is fine. And we can name it. Instead of chart one, we could say um, column with color and label. And then click save right down here. So now let's um, delete this chart and let's see if we can do this now. Insert, go to uh, chart, the launcher, and then go to templates and sure enough there it is. Click on it, click OK and there you have it.
There is an automatic, um, so we and you can do any chart with any formatting you want. One other thing, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to go up to Insert, Launcher for the whole list. I'm going to click here. Oh, watch this. I'm going to click this button, Set as Default, and that's how you do it. You can make any chart with any formatting you want, Set as Default, click OK. I'm going to delete that chart, and now I'm going to try it. Alt F1, and sure enough, there it is. So that's how to do default charts and the new template feature, which is actually awesome because then you can save lots of different uh, charts and set them as uh, your default chart. All right, we'll see you next trick.